Hi, my name is Arno. Welcome to High Vision Explained. Today, we will be talking about AccuSense demo case. This gives you the opportunity to experience all about this new technology. After this video, you will be able to use it. But first, a short explanation about AccuSense technology. AccuSense NVR is based on deep learning technology. It has a GPU inside, which is able to classify targets such as human and vehicles directly from a video image. The benefit of AccuSense technology is that we are able to filter out false alarms, reducing more than 90% of false alarm notifications compared to traditional cameras. This means it can be widely applied for parameter protection scenarios. Another great benefit is that we can quickly search based on target classification. This improves the efficiency of video footage search time. Now I would like to introduce step-by-step -step how to use this AccuSense demo case. So first, on the side of the demo case, we have the external connections, the power connection, and the local LAN connection. Inside of the demo box, we find the AccuSense NVR, the color view camera, and the monitor. Inside the box has been all pre-wired, so it's ready to use. To set up the NVR, we need to follow the basic wizard that helps us to finalize the initial settings. After completing this wizard, we can start configuring the AccuSense NVR. Now we'll demonstrate to you how this works. Inside this wizard, we can set the time and date, the network settings, the hard drive, camera setup, platform access, and if you would like to change your password. We already have done this all, so we just finish the wizard and go to the next step. To set up the AccuSense configuration, the first thing we need to go is to the system. Inside the system, we can find events and we can find smart events. An important setting that you need to know and be aware of is the enable smart analysis. This is enabling the AccuSense technology. So enabling this means we can connect four cameras to the AccuSense NVR and you can use the AccuSense technology. After you have done this, we can select line crossing or intrusion. Inside line crossing or intrusion, we need to enable this, and we need to set this for human or vehicle, or we can set them both. In this case, I will select human. The second thing we need to do is we need to draw an area. Here we can see there's a line crossing in the middle of my screen. I need to set the sensitivity. The sensitivity means, if I put it approximately to 10%, this means 90% of an object needs to cross the line. In this case, I will choose somewhere around 60, but this is really typical for the scenario that you're choosing. After we've done those settings, we can just click apply. This is all it takes to activate the AccuSense technology on this specific camera. Now we're ready to use it. The next step I would like to show you is in the live settings. In the live settings, we can enable the target detection and inside we find the check mark that it's smart detection. This enables the pop-up as soon as someone is crossing the line, uh, so you will be notified. To show this inside of the image, I can enable the display SMD, smart motion target. Now the line crossing is visible and you can actually see what the camera and the NVR is doing. Now I'll give you a short demo how the AccuSense technology works. As soon as I cross the line, it will detect me as a human and will prompt me a notification, like as you can see now. There are a few options from the live view. We can directly click on the clip and this gives us a playback clip of the event that just occurred. But most of the time, we would like to see afterwards and looking for uh, human or vehicles. There are several ways to look back for the event. If we would like to see all events from the line crossing, for example, we select a camera on the playback menu, we go to custom search, double check what kind of event you're looking for. In this case, we select the event type line crossing, make the search period, 
and press OK or search in this case. This will prompt all the line crossing events from the camera. So this will be the source event from the camera. To do the target classification, so to only look for vehicles or humans, there's another way to do it. We can go to file management, search for humans in this case, select the camera and the search period, and press search. Only the filtered alarms from the AccuSense channel in this case from the camera will be prompt. This is all it takes to set up AccuSense demo case. If you would like to experience yourself about AccuSense and this demo case, please find all information inside the description below. My name is Arno. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.